Hi folks, I'm Bob Main, and welcome to another episode of Bob's Bullet Points, a subsidiary of the Handgun World podcast. This quick video is going to be about MagFix. Let's get that here in front of the camera for you there. MagFix. What is MagFix? MagFix are special magazine base plates for Smith & Wesson Shield pistols. And several months ago, I did a video on the Shield Plan B, which these are the Shield Plan B base pads for the Smith & Wesson Shield magazines. This is an eight-rounder. These are manufactured by uh, Safety Solutions Academy, uh, owner Paul Carlson, a friend of mine, and uh, very good stuff. I want to make sure that you know this is not a paid advertisement, and it's also meant to be an educational video. I use this. I use this almost every day, so it's based on my experience. So now, MagFix is the polymer version of these base plates. See if I can get the camera to focus a little bit on that. There we go. Okay, these are the polymer version of the original uh, aluminum version. All right, let's get this. <laughs> Sorry about this, folks. There we go. Okay, here's the uh, original aluminum version right here. Typically, boy, I'm, I'm not managing the camera very well today. And uh, the aluminum version have that Safety Solutions Academy logo. The polymer version does not. But let me tell you what I like about the polymer version. Here, let me get in real close here and let this camera focus. Hopefully you can see, I guess it's not going to, I'll back it away a little bit. Hopefully you can see this ridge right here. And it's got some texturing on it. And what I really like about that is when it's in the pistol, okay, it provides a very nice ledge down here. That gives me a good grip on the pistol. That really makes it nice, especially for my pinky. All right, I'm going to turn this around and see if you can see it this way. There we go. Um, that provides a real nice place for my pinky to rest. And it makes a big difference when shooting this uh, Smith & Wesson shield. And the fact that it's got that texturing right there makes a huge difference and that ledge. Okay, so that's one. Now, look at this area right back here. Right here. You see how that's cut away? Okay, that solves a big problem that the Shield Plan B and the MagFix, it solves a big problem from the factory magazines. All right, check this out. When I grip this pistol and I press the mag button, it falls free. All right. With the factory magazine, it doesn't fall free as quickly because my hand, it's hitting my hand. The back of this magazine is hitting the palm of my hand. Okay. I have to use more hand movement to get it to fall free than I do with the Shield Plan B or the MagFix mags. Okay. Less hand movement. To, let, to get that magazine to drop. That's a big deal. Let me pick these up for a second. That's a big deal because when you've got the cutaway, and I'll show you the major difference here. Okay, here you go. Factory magazine and MagFix. Because it's cut away there over here on, on this side over here, it flattens it out and it makes it easier for you to eject the magazine without any loss of, without moving your grip very much, okay? My grip does hardly moves at all. all I, I do have to, because my hands are large, I do have to get my pinky out of the way like that, okay? But with the original mags, I have to pretty much adjust my grip about this much to get that mag to drop free. So between the ledge that it gives me and 
the uh, ease, much easier dropping free, that's a big deal. The magazines also drop free. If you're dropping a mag with ammo in there, and sometimes there's a need for that, especially clearing malfunctions, you may have a malfunction with half a magazine of ammo left. You got to get that magazine out of there to clear that malfunction. Uh, then they really drop free nicely. Here's another big deal about the uh, the mag fix by Safety Solutions Academy. And the the the, the website, by the way, is magfix.com. Magfix.com. Seven round magazines. Notice the seven round shield magazines, they have a little bit of a lip, an extra lip and some extra texturing right around the bottom of the magazine. Okay, factory seven round, magfix seven round. You know what the big difference is? I would not carry my shield prior to this with a seven round mag. I don't like the way that the factory seven round mag, it's too flush. It's too flush fitting and my hand would slip pretty easily. Even with this 2.0, this is the 2.0 version of the shield with nice texturing. Even the seven round mags with the 2.0, too slippery. But when I put the seven round with the magfix base plate, not slippery at all. See that nice ledge? I can get I can get a nice firm grip and it kind of locks these two fingers in place. Sometimes I put my pinky down here or I just kind of wrap it around the front of the mag, the base plate, but no slippage. All right, I get a nice firm grip on that. So that's a big deal. That helps improve accuracy. When you can get a nice firm grip on your pistol and stop the pistol from moving under recoil, as much as possible. It's going to recoil. Physics is physics. You can't change physics. But you got to manage recoil and you have to keep your pistol from moving as much as possible and keep the sights in alignment or get back on alignment as much as possible. With your grip, little things like magfix base plates. Uh, the great thing is, too, these polymer versions of magfix are a lot less money now than the original version, the aluminum versions. I use both. I'm going to keep using both. The aluminum versions do make the magazine a little bit heavier. Not a rig, real big deal. I think Paul Carlson did an excellent job with the, um, with the polymer versions of the MagFix base plates. Uh, hats off to you, Paul. You did a great job. I would strongly suggest that you, if you carry a shield pistol, that you get these. And um, I bought three, I uh, bought two sets, two sets of the polymer and three sets of the aluminum. And I will not carry a Smith & Wesson shield without these base plates installed. Quick review. It gives you a better grip on the pistol. It lets the magazines drop free a lot easier. If you have fairly large hands like mine, that's a big deal. If you got real small hands, it's probably not going to be that big of a deal. But if you got larger hands like me, it, it's a big deal. Okay. Uh, and I think it improves accuracy. I'm a lot more accurate with this pistol because I can lock my hand into that grip, especially with the seven round mags especially with the seven round mags you know now sometimes I have a need for real deep concealment and so I carry the shield with the seven round mag 90% of the time my shield has an eight round mag which makes it a nine round gun because I always carry one in the chamber and you should too Thanks for watching another episode of Bob's Bullet Points, a subsidiary of the Handgun World Podcast. Please subscribe to this channel. Check out all the other videos on this channel. Also subscribe to my audio podcast, the Handgun World Podcast. You can find it at handgunworld.com. And if you think this is a good educational video and you'd like to have access to a lot more good educational videos, 
I am the uh, co-author and co-owner of the Shooters Club at ShootersClubMembers.com. That's a membership site if you'd like to support me and also learn a whole lot. Subscribe at ShootersClubMembers.com. Um, thanks for watching, folks. I appreciate it. I'll be back with another Bob's Bullet Points episode real soon.